Now, coming to the linear convolution example here, as I mentioned in the ending of the last uh, example, it is an important operation that is carried out in signals and systems. It is said to be a mathematical operation, which is carried out to calculate the output of any LTA system. Here LTA means linear time invariant system given the input value and impulse response of the system. Then only we can get the value of the output of the LTA. Now, this LTA is applicable both for the continuous as well as discrete time signals. Uh, as a part of discussion in linear conditions, the sequences may or may not be of equal sizes. They might have different sizes, like uh, the input might be of uh, an array of uh, three values. The impulse might be of four to five values. It differs. Let us see this so-called what I told in theoretical. Let us see that in the program wise using MATLAB. Now, I would like to go to the programming here. Let us have the input x equals to input of, as we know, what is the purpose of input command? We we'll say it as input sequence here. Similarly, let us write it as H, as H is the most predominant used notation for the purpose of impulse response. Let us write it as impulse response here. Later, let us choose the length here by mentioning how much length is required for display. Let us use the definition of the variable with n1 here, mentioning as length. As we said, we use the natural notations in the MATLAB. Length of x. Similarly, we will use one more instruction referred as display, that is DISP, for the purpose of displaying the length of the particular sequence that is given there. Similarly, we write it for N2, that is length of H. Once again, I read the display. This, this function is usually useful for displaying the whatever the value we want to show onto the command window, onto the command window. Let me write N2 here. Afterwards, let us use the logic. That is N3 equals to N1 plus N2 lens of both minus one is the convolution. That is a convolution will start. Now we have to display, display the resultant length. What is the length? It is achieved. Afterwards we do the calculation. I suggest to the members here who are watching this course to practice this one. See, after display, I am mentioning N3 here, but I'm not giving semicolon such that it, if I give semicolon, it will stop up to that point. If I don't give semicolon after N3, it will pop up in the value will pop up in the command window. Later, what I was saying is that those who are doing are going to through this course, kindly solve this convolution manually first, then come to the programming part. It will be very useful for all of you. X comma H. Both we have to convolve, convolve the signals. Convolution is the simple, for convolution purpose, 
the command simple command used in the matlab is c o n v con now i mentioned it as figure for display later let it, i will start with subplots here as you know what is the purpose of subplot i give it here 3 to the 1 in the position of 1 for the very first yeah, under this i write few more commands that is t1 that equals to for this purpose to continue this programming purpose the remaining commands whatever we are using going to use are of common i have to choose between 0 to the time period of this particular x for 0 to n n1 minus 1 but how much how many ranges we have to give we have to give that value here i go one levels or one fractions like that i have to write the comments for making the entire thing easier here i would like to go to the program which i have already typed down here for making it easier this is a program here i go and execute this one once i have executed i have to go to command window to give the input sequences input sequence shall be given like this enter next impulse response result in this l and automatically its values whatever you have given those are going to be displayed here in your convoluted response impulse response input sequence you can see line by line x by x of n h of n y of n is the output here how they are convolved even you can see this in the normal also 2 9 22 35 38 24 like this how many values are there it is it will give first of all itself x values you can count six values are there. when we do the convolution there is linear convolution this is what we are going to see here as an example i will go to the program once again i will show you what are the commands that have been used here next them has been used here for the purpose of displaying the discrete data sequence the natural for input sequence we give x label y label the title the next subplot for impulse response is carried out at second position here i give here n2 as the length of impulse response is n2 then i write stem t2 comma h as i given the t2 value here n2 minus 1 then i go with sub part of the even 3 where i go for the linear convoluted response that is output response value i write it as n3 as the value here which is derived by this formula and utilize here t3 comma y that is how we got the output value input and output look at this values at 1 at 2 at 3 at 4 what are the values that have been covered it will be shown you here this is how we are going to understand the concept of linear convolution this is the end of the linear convolution i request you members to go through the manual operation then you come to the uh, doing this so called programming part and after this end of this course you will be able to obtain the programs manual of all the programs as it is a course with few examples we have discussed a few examples and few few things the entire program 
notes are available as a manual to all of you soon after the completion of this course.